Well, what's going on everyone? So today's video is all about the medical school interview timeline. My name is Prerak Juthani. I am an MD MBA student here at Yale. And the reason I wanted to make this video is because I keep getting a lot of questions about, you know, when should I expect to hear back from the interviews that I've completed as a med school applicant? The second question is, when is the latest that I can expect an interview? And the reason why these are important questions is because we are right around the end of December and people want to know if they should be expecting more interviews or maybe if this is the end of the season. And if you are in your shoes, um, we're going to answer that question today. Before we jump into it, I do want to make sure you all know uh, the source of this video is all my previous data. So when I applied to medical school, I kept a very meticulous record of when I submitted applications, when I got interviews, when I got rejections, and all of those things. And so we're going to be referring to my personal data. All of that comes with the stipulation that, of course, this is an N of 1. So just because I'm saying something doesn't necessarily mean that it's the end-all, be-all. But given that, you know, having someone's uh, experience uh, can actually shed a lot of light into what you can expect from your own experience. So with that being said, um, also wanted to give a shout out. If you wanted to follow me along uh, and, you know, keep up to date with the things that I kind of post on, I do a lot of things outside of this YouTube channel. So if you did, just feel free to follow along on these socials. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. And you will see, I have to put on my glasses for this because there's a lot here. So here is the entire thing we're going to be focusing on today. And you will see that the name of the school is mentioned here. The date the secondary was received is uh, mentioned here. And then the date that I actually submitted the secondary is here all the way down. So you can see that you, you can see the due date of the secondary as well as if I got an interview and if I got an interview when that interview came. So with that being said, let's answer the question that is at the forefront of everyone's mind. When is the latest that you can get an interview invite? Well, you can see here that one of my interview invites, I've, I've actually shown you arrows near the regions where I got late interviews. Uh, and funnily enough, one of the places I got one of my latest interviews was actually at Yale. It seems like it was like my second to last interview at the end of uh, January. And guess what? That's actually where I ended up going and going to medical school. So again, you never know what's going to happen. And um, as, as I mentioned, you only need one acceptance. But all that to say, notice that I actually got a few interview invites. I got one from UCLA in uh, January 3rd. So that's, that's the latest interview invite I got. Uh, as far as I know, almost everything else was in August. Uh, I had a few in December. I had December 8th was when I got my Yale School of Medicine interview. It seems like I may have gotten my Harvard Medical School interview uh, on December 12th. And there were a few in November and then some in October. The reason why this is important is that we are still in December. So it is actually very likely that you may get interview invites. The only thing to remember is if you get an interview invite now, your interview date when you actually end up interviewing is probably going to be in February sometime or maybe late January. However, that's not actually a disadvantage. At least for me personally, the places where I interviewed last and second to last, I actually got two acceptances from, right? You can see that I interviewed at UCLA last, it seems, based on uh, this data, and I got actually accepted at UCLA. And then I interviewed at Yale second to last in January 30th. I have no idea how I got into both of these, but the point was I did. Uh, and I think part of it is just that you're way more comfortable interviewing, you feel more comfortable in your shoes, you know how to talk to people. All that to say, you know, I did get accepted on March 30th, and I got accepted to Yale on March 7th. Um, both two of probably two of the happiest days of my life. And then, you know, four years down the road, five years down the road, here's where I am. And I feel very grateful for it. So the other thing I also want to point out here is that we actually need to correlate the day that I got these interviews to the days that I submitted my secondaries. Some of you may have been told, and this is absolutely correct advice, and I would not <laughs> recommend doing it the way that I did it, but you should submit your secondaries within two weeks of actually getting them. You'll see that I did not do that. I actually got my secondary for UCLA on July 1st, and I submitted it around like July 27th, which was like three weeks. For example, I got my secondary for Yale on July 6th, and I didn't submit it until like August, um, which was a whole month later. So I actually delayed the submission of a lot of my secondaries, and I actually pushed them off much later than I should have, and I don't recommend you do that. But with that being said, if you submitted your secondaries a bit later than you should have, then there is a chance that your interview invite may also come a bit later 
than most people are getting there. So you can see that because I submitted my Yale secondary late, I ended up getting my interview scheduled near the latter dates. And that was actually one of the reasons why the whole cycle was a little offset for me. If you actually now look at Harvard, um, you'll see that I got my second year on July 5th and I submitted it on August 6th, which is um, a whole a whole month later. Honestly, you should not be doing that. But again, that's why my, my whole thing was shifted. And again, do not recommend doing that at all. Last but not least, the point that is probably the most important point to make in this video is the fact that rejections are absolutely normal. And you can actually see that here. Um, every orange thing is like a place where a school rejected me. So for example, maybe a school didn't even send me a secondary. If they sent me a secondary, maybe I got rejected after I submitted that secondary. And you can see these are all the schools I got rejected pre-interview. Um, and then even if I got an interview at a school, you can see that I got rejected at several schools after the interview. <laughs> and of the schools that I actually um, interviewed at and then I got accepted from, I ended up going uh, and matriculating at Yale, which, you know, as I said, you only need one and, you know, fingers crossed and believe it, you will get accepted to the school where I think you will be the happiest. I genuinely am a firm believer that Yale was like the perfect school for me. I have had the best four or five years of my life, I've met the most incredible people and I am so, so grateful to have gone there. Would I have gotten the same experience anywhere else? Yes, likely. But as I said, um, you end up at the place that I think you will thrive. And I think this process just has a way of, of figuring that out for you. So don't worry about it. You're going to get rejections. I got a ton. You'll get a ton. They're their name of the game. Um, but you will end up where you're going to end up. And I think the big question that we were hoping to answer at the end of this video was, when is the latest you can expect an interview? And I'd say early January is probably the latest you can expect an interview invite. And you'll probably finish your last interviews by the end of January, if not early February. And remember, just because they're near the end, I actually don't think that's a bad thing. I felt good and I actually got accepted to the last school, last two schools I interviewed at, primarily because I felt way more comfortable in my shoes. So with all that being said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, comment, share, subscribe. It means a lot to me. And um, without further ado, if you have any other questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll try to make a video in the future. All right. Thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.